Hey, hey, what's going on? Uh, if you're just hopping on, uh, definitely call out and say what's up. Antonio Thompson here. Uh, let's see who we got on for just uh, joining us. Make sure you can hear me. Hey, Jubilant, I think that's how you pronounce your name. Great to have you on. Uh, if you're just coming out, come out and shout. Let me know where you are watching from. Um, I will give you a shout out on uh, the webinar, on the Facebook Live. Hey, Yuri, what's going on? Uh, got some exciting content for you all this evening. Hey, Evangeline, what's going on? Good evening, good evening. Exciting content for you all this evening. We are live uh, on Facebook Live as well as here on the webinar. Super excited to be sharing with you uh, this evening. Uh, we've got Melissa on. Hey, Melissa, what's going on on Facebook Live? I got lots of things going on here from Indiana. What's up? Uh, cool, cool. So we're gonna rock and roll here uh, in uh, just a moment. Uh, tonight's training is about a uh, three-step Facebook ad strategy to build your audience, generate leads and sales without the fear of losing money or spending dozens of hours trying to learn the process. You can do this even if you are uh, brand new and never ever ran a Facebook ad before. Hey, Lori, what's going on? Hey, Suze. Uh, from Toronto. Awesome, awesome. Got my tea here. I'm kind of fired up and excited to be training you this evening. Um, it's nine o'clock. Let's get started. Like I like to be uh, prompt on time. Uh, folks are late. That's on them. I'm going to go ahead and um, actually uh, hide my face here. Just want to make sure you guys see me. I'm a real person. Uh, it's not a recording. This is actually live. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, minimize my face here. We'll turn my web webcam off. And I turn my mic off. I'm going to turn the webcam off. Um, go ahead and grab a pen, paper. I got some exciting and valuable content for you this evening. Um, turn off. Uh, the uh, cell phones, uh, lock the door, tell, hey, Chris, what's going on? Hey, Marlon, what's going on? Lock the door, tell your family members not to disrupt you for the next uh, hour or so. Hey, Toko, how are you? Uh, and we're going to just dive right into the content. So my three-step Facebook ad strategy to build your audience, generate endless leads and sales without the fear of losing money or spending, spending dozens of hours trying to learn this process of Facebook ads. Hey, Colleen, what's going on? All right, got a couple questions for you before we get started. Just curious, and I love engagement, love interaction. How would it feel if you had an endless flow of quality people to talk to about your product, service, or opportunity? Comment in the chat, let me know. How would that, how would you feel, right? If you had like endless, an endless flow of of people, prospects to talk to about your product, service, or opportunity. Just comment in the chat. I'm seeing awesome, priceless, love it. I would feel pretty awesome. I'd feel great, incredible, rewarding, incredible, incredible. Because I can tell you from my personal experience, um, when you learn this three-step process, um, you can drastically uh, increase the number of people that come to you wanting to learn from you, wanting to buy from you and learn more about your products as an opportunity. Another question, just curious, heavenly love it, Suze. What would it feel like to sell more products, work with more clients and enroll more people, right? Maybe you've been in business for quite some time and maybe you've struggled to enroll people. Um, you know, what would it feel like if you could sell more products? Right? What would that do to your business? What would that allow you to do in your business? Would you finally walk across stage? Hey, Alice, uh, would you finally, you know, take your family, you know, on a vacation? Would you pay a bill that's probably been hanging over your head for quite some time? Right? What would it feel like if you could do that? Right? If you could sell more products, rewarding, rank advance, I'd walk across my company stage, I'd be able to fire my boss. Totally, totally, absolutely, absolutely. What if you were able to do all this without spending hours in front of the computer trying to figure it out? What if you could do all of this without the fear? And I know there's some fear on the, on the training here tonight. We talk about Facebook ads and you know people get a little bit scared, but what if you could do it all without the fear that you would be throwing money down the drain, right? I feel, feel confident, I feel amazing 
incredible. My wife would look at me differently. Awesome. What would that be worth to you? Be priceless, right? I'd have my confidence back. I'd be successful. Awesome, awesome. So I can tell you, if you've ever struggled to generate leads and sales of Facebook ads, and you feel like you're you're missing something because you're not getting the results you desire, I know exactly how you feel because in fact, I was there too. You know, my first 18 months in in business weren't um, the best, I would say, right? So I started the industry. Um, I came into it. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. If you haven't noticed the accent or the sirens in the background I'm from Brooklyn, New York. And um, I was working full time as a development director um, at a college. Basically, what I did was I fundraised for the college, right? Stuffing envelopes and talking to people and saying, hey, donate to the college to lumps and that kind of thing. Um, I found the industry in 2013. And my first year and a half, um, I struggled. And how many can relate to struggling when you first came to the industry? Just comment in the chat. Let me know if you struggled when you first got into the industry, or maybe you're still struggling now. We're going to change that tonight. Trust me. But um, maybe you started the industry and you struggled. I was there too. I struggled. I had no prior marketing uh, or business experience. I came out as absolutely rewarding. Cool. Um, I had no prior marketing or business experience. I came into um, the profession as a complete newbie. And initially, I was on a mission to uh, make enough money uh, so I could uh, quit my job and focus on things that I was really passionate about, like music and traveling. I'm a, a classical and jazz trumpeter and I run a nonprofit. Um, and because I wanted results fast, I wanted to do things the fast way. And I got into paid advertising very, very quickly. And so when I did that, um, Mark Zuckerberg gave me the slap several times. And um, I had several Facebook ads accounts shut down. Um, I wasted thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars uh, on Facebook ads that got me nothing, no results. Um, and I got shut down. And you can see below there is a little screenshot of uh, you know one of my ads accounts that got shut down, right? Your ad account has been flagged for policy violations. Any ad you're running will have been turned off, right? So I got it from Facebook like five or five or six times. And so frustrated by my, my lack of results, I nearly quit in that first year of my business, right? Because I thought, you know, I was I did the things my upline told me to do in the beginning, right? Made my list of friends and family, invited them to conference calls, webinars, and meetings. Um, and you know, that just wasn't my style, right? Everyone said no. I got to sit up at home parties and hotel meetings. So I was just like, eh, it's not my style. I want to go to Facebook ads. And so I thought, you know, I just, you know, post some ads and run some ads, some some product pictures and uh, my opportunity uh, website, and people would sign up. And that didn't happen. So I was ready to quit and give up. It wasn't until I discovered um, some secrets and I invested uh, in some coaching and training and learned a three step simple uh, Facebook ad strategy that I'm gonna share with you tonight. And you know, it, it changed everything for me and my life now is completely different, right? I fired my boss in 20, I don't say fire my boss, I left my job um, peacefully <laughs> in 2016. Um, in the past two and a half years, in less than two years, I generated over 5,000 leads and generate consistent income through affiliate sales, my own product sales, private coaching and consulting. Um, I work with several um, clients one-on-one. -on -one. I also work uh, with some businesses to help them build their businesses uh, using Facebook paid advertising. I now have extra time to hang with my dog, Snowy. You may hear her in the background. She likes to bark at the door, um, travel, and focus on growing my arts nonprofit. I'm a speaker, trainer, and coach, and creator of my own products, including a Facebook ads course um, and um, a course on Facebook Messenger marketing. And so getting these results in my business have allowed me to do some cool stuff. I'll be quick here, but get to hang out with my dog, um, speak on stage, train at local events, um, at masterminds, but more importantly, I can focus on growing my nonprofit arts, arts organization, Travel. Um, that's, if you look on the bottom right, that's me in Cape Town, South Africa, several months ago. And I don't share these photos, and that's my the kids that I work with, my nonprofit in the center playing the drums. Uh, they're performing when, when Prince passed away. Uh, Spike Lee here in New York did a, um, a celebration of his life, and he invited our kids to come and perform. Um, now, I'm not showing these pictures to brag or boast, but 
really to uh, share with you more than anything um, that you get to bring choice back into your life. Because just out of curiosity, you know, what what was your reason for getting into the style of business that you're you're building? Come in the chat. Let me know. What was your reason for for getting into um, network marketing, affiliate marketing, you know, starting your own coaching business, starting your own brick and mortar business. What was the reason for you uh, getting started? Comment in the chat and let me know. I know for me, it was freedom. Um, time freedom, as Evangeline says, time freedom to do whatever I want, uh, when I want, with whoever I want. What was it for you? Free time, I see. What's the most important thing? Stop working 50 to 70 hours a week. All right, Lori. Freedom, Right. Right. I see be my own boss, kids, more time with family, residual income, retirement. Thank you, Caroline. Get out of nine to five. Right. Even if you didn't comment in, can you relate? I want to spend more time with my own pets. Awesome, Amelia. Um, even if you didn't comment in, can you relate and resonate to some of these? Right. And so what I can tell you is what I'm going to share with you this evening can work for you no matter where you're at in your business. I see more time with family, residual income. No matter what, where you're at in your business, what I'm going to share with you tonight can absolutely work for you. It works. It's worked for my students, um, my clients, and it's allowed me to have a pretty awesome um, past a few years. And so here's what you're going to learn this evening. You're going to learn the three-step Facebook ad strategy to generate endless leads and sales in the next 30 days. You learn how to quickly build an audience of red hot prospects who actually want what you're selling, right? Wouldn't it, isn't it amazing that you can craft an ad and, and target to people who actually want what you are selling? They're actually looking for that weight loss product. They're looking to travel. They're looking to learn how to generate leads. They're looking for a solution, right? It definitely is um, a much better process than out there, you know, talking to every person and seeing if they have some pain that you can solve, right? I like bringing people to me. That's powerful. You're going to discover the three types of ads you should be running to get the best results. You're also going to learn my three-step simple Facebook ad copy formula so you can build flawless ads in just minutes. This three-step copywriting uh, Facebook ad copy formula is gold. You master this and you're you're good. <laughs> you're definitely set. I'm going to share with you how to read your Facebook ad results so you know how to scale up or scale back. And for some of you, I'll share with you a way to dig deeper with me into all of this uh, and get my guidance to help transform your business in the next 30 days plus. All right. So does this work? Right. You're sitting there and like, all right, this guy is going to share with me some stuff. He's been talking a lot so far. But does this actually work? Right. Uh, so I'm going to share with you a, a screenshot. This is actually from a few days ago. I think it was like Monday or Tuesday of this week. Um, Carrie's one of my coaching clients. Not sure if she's on, but she basically said, eek, got our first sale. Just had just started coaching with Antonio a week and a half ago. And we made our first sale. It came in from a Facebook ad we were running and boom. Right. Imagine creating your first ad and getting a sale within a week, if not less, right? She writes again, update, this is uh, on the 19th, right? Update, they keep coming in. Did you know that coaching can be applied to whatever business you want to do? Yep, learn new skills in Antonio, implementing, get results, boom. She has orders coming in left and right, which is extremely, extremely powerful. Another client of mine, Rhonda Scott Ford, 219 leads at $1.92 a lead. Right. Would it be worth it? <laughs> Let me ask this question. Would it be worth it if you could generate 200 leads at, let's say, two dollars a lead? Right. That means let's let's put it into perspective here. Right. Two hundred leads at two dollars a lead. That means you spent four hundred dollars for leads. Right. Four hundred dollars in Facebook ads. Let's say out of those leads, 10 percent converted. Right. You got 21 business builders. Would it be worth or 20 business businesses would do 200, right? Would it be worth $400 if you sponsored 20 people into your business? Comment in the chat below. Would it be worth 20, 20, uh, $400 if you sponsored 20 people into your business? Let me know if that'd be worth it. Let's say you sold a product that was, you know, every time you bought a customer and you got a hundred bucks, use that basic math, 
right? 20 times 100 is $2,000. I spent $400 to get $2,000. Well, I'm in profit $1,600. I would spend $400 every single day if I knew I could get $2,000 $2, in, in revenue minus the expense and earn $1,600 in profit. Absolutely. So these are the kind of things you'll, you'll, you'll kind of understand as we go through Facebook advertising. So want to make sure you're in the right place um, before we dive into the contest content. Uh, if you are a network marketer and want to sponsor more reps and sell more products, this training is for you. Want to make sure that you're in the right place because some people jump on webinars and you know they just like seeing training, right? Maybe they are looking for something and this is not what they want to get. So if this is not for you, definitely don't feel um, that you have have to stick on, right? You're not obligated obligated to stay here if you're not looking for what I'm be teaching on. If you're an affiliate marketing a marketer and want to generate higher quality leads and convert sales quicker, this training is for you. If you want to launch a new business or grow an existing business and you wanna find the hottest ready to buy prospects, this is for you. If you wanna maximize and automate your marketing uh, and maximize your time and profits and save at the same time, this is for you. If you're worried about selling online because you've seen how almost everyone does it wrong, this is for you because I'm gonna share with you exactly a cool way to run Facebook ads without seeming like you're selling, all right? So what this is not and who this is not for. I wanna make sure that Everybody's clear about what this is and what this is not, right? So this is not a pitch to get you to promote a business opportunity or a system that I'm part of. What I want for you and what I want for you is to stay focused on your business opportunity or your company or your products that you're passionate about so that you can use these strategies to build your team, promote your products and services that you're, you're currently a part of. So there's going to be no offer for you to join my team or my opportunity and so if you're looking for that you're actually not going to be able to get that here in this training now similarly this is not for those who want to do nothing and get paid i gotta be honest i don't know of any push button solutions but never experienced that in my, myself or heard of any such thing and um, I don't know anyone that's ever created any long-term success um, with a push-button solution. So this is not about that. What this is about, this is about people who are passionate about helping and impacting others and working towards their goals and making the next you know, quarter, the next six months, um, the best six months, nine months of the year. Now, here's the other thing. This is not going to be about um, being a cookie-cutter marketer right, or business owner. Uh, this is not about thinking you can do what everybody else does and stand out from the crowd and just continue to generate leads, sales, and prospects. Sorry, there's no copy and paste here. Not for me. Um, this is for people who actually want to learn marketing, who want to think about their business a little differently, who want to utilize and, and leverage their time, work less while earning, and go against what some people consistently do on a daily basis. Now, I did share some numbers a little bit earlier uh, about my results, um, but I'm going to say my results aren't typical because, you know, the fact is most people do nothing and consequently earn, earn nothing, right? This is about real people. It's about people who are serious, serious about the business, ready to roll up their sleeves, get to work and learn a method that can truly work for you. You, you just got to work it. Simple as that. Um, and if you really think about it, right, think about this like it's January 1st, right? People get so excited and fired up about January 1st and New Year's resolutions, right? How many of you guys got fired up about setting a resolution, right? Maybe you had a friend who's you know, all fired up to, to get in the gym, work out. They're going to lose all this weight. They're going to be super healthy. Um, they buy a gym membership. They're working out for the first few weeks of January. Then by February 1st, they're slowly backsliding, right? They're back on the couch eating pizza. And, and watching Scandal and uh, Empire and Downtown Abbey, whatever shows are popular now, right? Then all of a sudden, it's November. And they're like, oh my God, it's November. Let me uh, try to get back in, in gear. Let me, get, let, me run, let me run to the gym and try to get back in shape and kind of reach my yearly goals, right? That's not what I want for you. I want for you, and I, I know that because you're still on here and still watch, listening and looking at my slides here, that you're the people that are gonna be fired up, who are passionate, who are gonna take what I share here and go out there and get to work, who are open, who are coachable, and who are really want a different way 
um, to move um, their business forward, right? So is that cool? Are you guys, you know, in the right place? Just comment, yes, you're still with me. Let me know you guys are still with me and still uh, alive and shaking. We're about to get into the content very quickly, All right? Just give me a heck yes, yes, we're here. We're live. We got our, 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 our energy drinks. We got our tea. I'm seeing yes, cool, cool, cool. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So whether you're building um, a, a coaching business, an affiliate marketing business, a network marketing business, or sell your own products, you have to have people to talk to or and or steady stream leads coming in. And for me, the biggest struggle when I first started my business was finding quality people and generating leads. That's just what I struggled with. Um, I followed my sponsor's instructions when I first started, right? Shared my products and businesses, business with friends, family, and coworkers. Went to coffee shop meetings, had meetups, networking groups, and I failed miserably, right? Nothing worked. My family told me no. I got stood up. People walked out on me, even at coffee shop meetings that were scheduled. Like they walked in, they sat down, um, they they looked they looked at two seconds of presentation and they walked out, right? Um, and so I was frustrated by that, and I tried to move online, shifted to Facebook, thinking that I could just put up some ads that people would flock to me and buy from me, and Facebook shut me down. Here are some more <laughs> messages from Facebook saying, hey, we're shutting you down. That's one in the span of uh, a year, I got shut down in June, in August, and in October, three times. That's only just one account, right? Well, not one account. That's... Um, that's one of the accounts that got shut down. <laughs> so little, little to say that I was kind of frustrated and ready to give up and quit. And I said before, I discovered this, this formula that when followed, you could have an endless flow of leads and prospects. So let's get right to it. All right, so here's my, my three steps. Here's where you can start taking notes. Um, so getting my ad account shut down taught me some things, I would say, right? <laughs> okay. Um, so... I'll, I'll get to those questions. Just remember um, those questions, why they should now get to those questions at the end. So here's my, my three-step simple Facebook ad strategy for endless leads and sales in 30 days. You ready? Get your pens out, and pen, paper and pencils, whatever you're writing with. Oh, not there. I invested $10,000 in mentorship to learn the simplest, fastest, and most effective methods to launch my business from scratch. I took action, tested everything, discarded what did, didn't work, and kept only what does. I spent $2,000 plus on training to learn this Facebook ads process, and let's get right to it. The first one is, step one, build a raving fan base. Step two, deliver valuable content to that fan base. Step three, promote congruent offers to that fan base. That's it, right? Three-step process. Webinar over. No, I'm just kidding, <laughs> right? So. Build a raving fan base, deliver valuable content to that fan base, and promote congruent offers to the your fan base. Now, to answer your question, because it kind of relates to this three-step process, why did I get shut down? Um, I got shut down because I was running ads to uh, an audience that really wasn't receptive to my ads. Right. So what people typically do is they'll go to Facebook, they'll they'll start up an ad campaign, and they'll run it to everybody on the on the planet. And everyone in the planet has no interest in what you are talking about. And so they either will hide the ad, they'll report it as spam. And so when you get many of those marks, right, people hiding in the ad, people reporting the ad, Facebook will look at your ad account and say, hmm, this is like sketchy, you know, shut down. Um, other things, promoting our industry is not um, favored very highly on Facebook. And so you have to be very careful about the language you use um in in your um in your ads because they can also to be a reason why you get shut down calling ads do i ever get shut down anymore i haven't in a while knock on wood so it can happen if it does there's ways to get around and sort of red account so let's dive into step one before we dive into step one though you have to understand why you should advertise on facebook and i gotta tell you facebook is is powerful I'm not going to walk through all of what Facebook is and, you know, the power of it, but just know this, there are 1.13 billion, there are more now, um, if they're up to 2 billion, but I, those numbers are probably low, but there are lots of people on Facebook, 
And of those billions of people, a good majority of them access the social network, plat the platform on their mobile device. And the average user spends about 50 minutes per day on Facebook, Instagram, and Messenger. Think about that. About an hour of everyone's 1.13 billion people, an hour of that time is spent on Facebook, Instagram, and Messenger. What does that mean for you as a business? I mean, it's, it's incredible, actually. Um, we know that organic reach on Facebook has been declined for several years now. And right now, if you're if you're running any kind of, if you're putting any posts on your business page right now, it's probably down to zero. You're getting very little organic reach. And so you have to rely on paid advertising. And the other reason why you should be advertising on Facebook is because the targeting options are just incredible. You can reach your perfect, perfect prospect. So if I want to reach someone who lives in Kentucky, you know, um, drives a, a Ford and they they like to um, eat croutons, I can find them on Facebook by targeting. Right. So it's probably Facebook is probably the most effective tool out there for you to grow your business, create loyal customers and generate leads and sales. Right. And it's. It's totally, it's an incredible platform. But you have to understand why Facebook ads are brilliant and how you actually are should be using them. And Facebook will do the heavy lifting for you, right? You just, you just have to tell Facebook what you want. They have sophisticated algorithms that will, will serve your ads to the right people. If you don't tell Facebook what you want, Facebook won't know what you want. So, for instance, if you've ever been um, in the Facebook Ads Manager and, and you notice there are different options, objectives, um, and let's say you want to get, you want leads for your business, right? I have had clients who've come to me and clients have spent, you know, tens, uh, maybe even $20,000 on Facebook ads and I look at their ad account and I ask questions. So, you're running this ad here, right? Okay. What was the, what do you want to get out of this ad? And they say, well, I wanted to get leads. I'm like, all right, you want to get leads. But the ad you're running is for engagement. What is engagement? Engagement means people are going to engage with this post. And Facebook is saying, oh, he clicked engagement. He must want more likes, comments, and shares. That's what he wants. So you have to be very specific and, and direct with Facebook and tell them what you want. Facebook, I want leads. So I'm gonna run an ad that's going to generate leads. Facebook, I want more engagement on this post, right? I want people to like, comment, and share. Cool, I'll show that Facebook will show this ad to more people who are likely to engage with the post. So tell Facebook what, what you want and they will deliver it to you, guaranteed. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Tell Facebook what you want and they'll give it to you, right? When you look in the ads manager, right, it says, you know, engagement, okay, I want engagement. Video views, okay, I want video views. Leads, I want leads. I want traffic, cool, give me traffic. Facebook will do what you want it to do, but you have to be very specific, okay? Awesome, I'm saying yes, great, cool. Step one, building a raving fan base. So you have to be very clear about who it is you wanna target. One of the key reasons why Facebook ads um, typically fail is because people aren't clear about who they want to reach, right? They say they want to reach um, everyone, right? And everyone, I mean, that's what your your um, your upline would tell you, your sponsor will tell you, well, everyone needs your product service and opportunity, right? Go out there, talk to everyone. Well, everyone may need to lose weight, but everyone doesn't want to lose weight. Everyone may want, may need to eat healthier, but do people want to eat healthier? Right? So you need to be very clear about who that audience is before you even start running ads. Because if you're not clear about that, your ads are gonna fail. Your copy's gonna be off, your targeting's gonna be off, and you're gonna waste a lot of money. So identify your target audience. Then we create a Facebook ad to grow your audience. And there's two ad, two types of ads you can, can use to grow your audience. The one that I prefer is a Facebook likes ad. Hands down, I'll show you why I prefer that in a second, but Facebook likes ad. You can also do a Facebook engagement ad um, that works as well. 
And your time frame for this is weeks one through two. So I'm giving you a 30 day blueprint for a Facebook ads strategy, spending five bucks a day. So week one through two is spending $5 a day to grow your audience, okay? So you're either running a likes ad or a Facebook engagement ad. But let's talk about identifying your target audience because if you don't get this right, your ads are going to not do well, okay? So here's some questions you wanna consider uh, when it comes to identifying your ideal prospects, your target audience. The first question is, who do I really wanna help and work with? And you can't say everybody. Right. Because if you say everybody, that means you're going to work with 17 year olds to 65 year olds. And think about this, the issues, the challenges, the language of a 17 year old is going to be totally different from 50, 52 year old or 64 year old even. Right. And so if you craft an ad that speaking in generic, you're going to speak to nobody. Right. So be very clear and specific about who you want to help and who you want to work with, their age, their gender, where they live. Secondly, what are their biggest pains, objections, struggles, and fears that your product, service, or opportunity helps them solve, right? If you're in weight loss, okay, what, what is the main problem that you're going to solve for that 34-year-old woman, right? What is, she, what is she struggling with? What are her biggest pains? What are her fears? And how does your product help, help that person solve those, those challenges? Third, what are, their, what are their biggest dreams and desires in life? What do they want? What does life look like when they've achieved or they solved that problem, right? When they've dealt with the weight loss problem, what does life look like? And I'll give an example on the next slide. Third, who are some authorities, leaders, and other Facebook pages that they follow, right? Because if they have um, a problem, they're looking at people who can solve the problem, right? Other leaders. So you want to connect with those leaders and, and use that in your targeting. Lastly, what books, magazines do they read and what other interests may they have? They may have. Does that all make sense? Comment in the chat. Let me know you guys or ladies are, are with me. Does that make sense? Understanding who you really want to help, right? Age gender, what are their biggest pain, struggles, challenges, fears, right? What are their dreams? What, what, what does life look like when they solve that problem? What are their, their big aspirations? Who they follow online, the authorities, leaders, books, magazines they read, etc. Here's an example of this using a, a uh, weight loss example, right? Who do I want to help and work with? Moms, ages 35 to 45, looking to lose weight. And I'll say more specifically, looking to lose baby weight, right? What are their biggest pains, objections, struggles, fears that my product service opportunity helps them solve? Well, weight loss, keeping the weight off, not eating healthy, emotional eating, fatigue, self-confidence, yo-yo diets, their clothes don't fit, right? What are their dreams and desires in life, right? right? They want to get back to pre-baby weight. They want to get their body back. They want to look good and attractive for their spouse. They're going to be able to play with their kids and, and chase them, chase after them without losing breath. Right. We know that, you know, um, you know, having weight problems and poor health um, can be devastating, even life threatening. Right. So they want to be there for their kids milestones. Right. Wedding, graduations, becoming a grandmother. They want to fit into their skinny jeans. Who are they following, right? What authorities, leaders, and other Facebook pages they follow? Well, Coach Mindy, Weight Loss, Jillian Michaels, Dr. Joss Axe, right? You can actually go to Google and Google will tell you, you know, what these the this audience is, is looking at, what books they're reading, what people they're following, Facebook as well. Um, books and magazines, what do they read? Clean Eating, Weight Watchers, Hungry Girl. Folks over nice, eat, eat healthy, lose that baby fat. And what this allows me to do is take this, these, these interests, these, um, these challenges, these struggles, and create a profile and use that in my targeting on Facebook. So when I create this likes ad, when I run this engagement ad and run it to this audience, it will connect with the audience I'm trying to reach. And I won't be flagged by Facebook. I won't get my ad account shut down because I'm targeting the right people and um, I'm speaking their language. I'm providing them 
value. I'm providing them some assistance, some help, right? They're gonna see me as the authority, right? Does that make sense? Let me know that makes sense, right? So creating a likes ad. So I got a few examples here of, of three likes ads, right? One is for a realtor, right? And basically she's saying, connect with me, um, your hardworking, dedicated, creative, real estate professional. Let me help you find your dream and house got cut off when I was taking the screenshot. Very simple. We just started this likes ad not so long, a few days ago. Another likes ad. And this is simply to grow your audience, right? That's all it is, simply to grow your audience. Because the first step is build a raving fan base. It's another client. Dogs makes Dogs make my heart happy. Right, serving laughs daily, like our page for funny memes, videos, and more. Right, simple. We ran, started running this ad uh, two and a half weeks ago, three weeks ago, 1,100 um, likes so far. This is my likes ad. Connect with me for the latest Facebook marketing tips to attract um, more leads, sales, and cash flow for your business. That's my likes ad. Right. And so what are you going to spend for a like? Well, likes are going to be less than a dollar. You want to spend less than a dollar for a like for this particular real estate ad. We're spending about a dollar 13. I'm OK with that because it's very specifically targeted to a specific area. Um, Dallas, Texas. So I'm, I'm my audience is very my pool is very small. So my cost is probably going to be pretty, pretty high. But this one here gets me excited because she's getting likes for nine cents. Nine cents. So she's building an audience. We're building an audience, right? Creating a raving fan base. And then we're going to promote to the audience, you know, some interesting, engaging content. Then we're going to sell to the audience some cool stuff, right? And she's getting likes at nine cents. This is mine here. Uh, again, likes at 46, 46, 46 cents, okay? Likes ad. That's the first way you can grow your audience, okay? The second way you can grow your audience is with a Facebook engagement ad. Now, I typically um, will not run a Facebook engagement ad with the specific goal of building an audience. I may double dip, meaning I'll run a different type of ad and then use this strategy to grow my audience. But I'm not I don't I'm not going to waste. Not, I'm not going to I'm not going to run an ad just to get engagement, just to get likes. OK, because it just requires some time. All right, so with this Facebook game engagement ad, you would create a post on your page that um, is inspirational, valuable to your audience, and then you would boost this post to a cold audience, your target audience that we developed in that first scenario, the first um, uh, few slides ago. All right, so you create an ad, you boost it, then you would click on the people who've engaged with the, the, the post, meaning they liked it, they loved it, they ha ha it, and then it will pops up is this option for you to invite them to your page. Now, if, you're, if your funds are low and you can't implement this entire $5 per day strategy, totally understand that. Um, so you can actually create some posts that just run engagement ads like this, or when people comment or engage with your generic po organic posts, you can just invite them to your page and grow your, your audience that way. But if you want to do this strategy, which requires a little bit more time, you have to go in there manually and invite people. And Facebook will, will stop you after a certain number of invites to like your page. This is one way to do it. OK, does that all make sense? Growing your audience with a Facebook likes ad, uh, engagement ad. Yes. Sit in my tea. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. Step two is all about delivering valuable content. So when we say um, valuable content, what do we mean? Well, valuable content is simply things that educate, demonstrate, inform, or entertain. Simple as that. When you post things on your timeline, your, your news feed, does it do one of these four things? And most of the time, uh, depending on your business, I think most of us here are um, either network marketers, affiliate marketers, or running uh, a, a brick and mortar business, something like that. 
you're typically going to provide value that's going to address, um, provide information, um, share some tips, and some and provide some resources that your target audience wants. Remember, we did that in the beginning. We identified our audience. We identified what their pain, struggles, and challenges are. Now, on our timeline, we're going to provide value to them. We're going to provide resources, tips, things that actually help them solve their problems, right? And you got to understand, obviously, as before, who your audience is, what their pain, struggles, and challenges are, and what their dreams and desires are. Because when you create content, you want to make sure your content actually hits on those points. Okay. So what is, how do you, how do you create content? What do you talk about? Now this can be in the form, and I'll talk about this in a couple other slides, but it can be a form in the form of a variety of different things, um, videos, status updates, you know, images, um, you know, blog posts, but what do you talk about? Right. What do you say? Right. What do you what do you communicate to your audience? Well, tips on how to, you know, achieve a, a desire, a desired result without a pain. Right. Your audience has had your audience has struggles and we identified some of them in the example. Right. Your audience has some pain points. They have some things they're dealing with. If you can provide some tips to help them overcome them, they will th they will thank you for them for that. They will be grateful to you for that. So think about tips that you can share to help your audience. Think about sharing someone's um, success story. A lot of people do these before and after pictures. And they're like, oh, look at Jenny. She lost, she was uh, 500 pounds. Now she's, you know, 250, you know, by the shake. Not really close, but not really hitting the money, right? Share with them how blank went from blank and got to the new state, right? You know, look at Jenny before she was, you know, um, you know, 200 pounds of a weight. And just by making a, a few small adjustments to her diet, she's now at 175 pounds. That's it. No, like, hey, grab these pills or grab these these shakes. Right. Create that that intrigue and curiosity. If you go to events, right, if you go to any kind of events, you're on webinars, you're on this webinar. Right. You can share your notes from training events or, you know, webinars that you've been on. Just was on an awesome webinar where I learned, you know, uh, a three-step simple Facebook ad strategy, um, spending only five bucks a day. Want to see my notes? Or, you know, here are some of the tips that he shared. Right? Create that entry. Provide some information and people will connect with you. The key thing to remember here is that you don't have to be the original creator. You can report on what you heard read and learned. You're reading books, you're, um, you're looking at magazines, you're online, you're on trainings, um, you're experiencing life, right? Share that with your audience if it's relevant, right? Share it with your audience. It's valuable. As long as it educates, entertains, informs, and demonstrates, you're good. So here's an example, right? So Five tips to lose 10 pounds next 30 days without working out. Who wouldn't want to do that? How my friend Mary got her body back in 30 days by making two small adjustments to her diet. Three tips to help you improve your confidence when, peaking, when speaking in public. When peaking in public. <laughs> when speaking in public, right? Five questions to ask real estate broker before you sign on. Right, these are things that you can talk about and share in a, and I'll talk about this now, I actually have you deliver content. You can share it in a status update, a Facebook Live video, recorded video, a blog post. Facebook has these. You can create notes where you can share content. But think about what can I give away to my audience, my audience um, that's going to provide some value to them. And then what you do is you typically will have a call to action to a congruent offer, which is our next step. But you want to move them from just a consumer of content to actually them becoming a lead and them saying, hey, I want to dive deeper with you, becoming a lead or buying a product. Right. Then you promote your content. Right. So you create a status update, a Facebook live video, a recorded video or a blog post. And then you promote your content by running in running an ad. Right. If you, if you created did a Facebook live video or recorded video and you're going to run an ad well you're going to run an ad to get more views of that video right if you created a status update and you want to get engagement on that particular status update 
you're going to run a Facebook engagement ad. If you have a blog post and you're sending people to that blog post or article that's off of Facebook, you're running a traffic ad to that blog post. All right. And this is for week three. Right. Five dollar a day ad spend for week three. So week one and two, you're building your audience right with the Facebook likes ad or an engagement ad. Week three, you're running an ad to your content. Now, that's not to say that in weeks one and two, you're not creating content. You're creating content right on your page. You're just not running any ads to that any ads to that content yet. Week three, we pick a piece of content that particularly has done well, maybe organically to some degree, and you you run some advertising to that, whether it's a video, a post you're going to boost, or delivering traffic to a blog post. Make sense? You guys still with me? We got a lot of folks on here. That's awesome. Um, does that make sense, everybody? This is getting fun and exciting. <clears throat> So I'm going to show you some examples of some valuable content, all right? So here's one from uh, Dogs Make My Heart Happy, right? So simple. She's got an, uh, a, a meme, a meme work? Yeah, no. <laughs> um, you know, anyone else not feel like going to work tomorrow? Stay home with the dog, right? she got some engagement happening here. She could boost this, this post to her audience and get more engagement. The interesting thing about this one, though, there's no call to action. But I can, I'll, I'll share with you what she, she can do and will do uh, in the future with, this, with an ad like this, right? Facebook Live video, right? So this one is talking about um, a free five-day Facebook um, ads challenge about um, uh, Facebook video ads. Right, so I'm gonna run an ad to this audience. It's all about video, my, my Facebook five day challenge. Right, this one here I've picked up today. This is a real estate one, um, a blog post about how do you find the ideal home size for your family. Here are three things to consider, right? Valuable content to get people to engage and consume some content from you. Step three, promoting congruent offers. Promoting congruent offers. And you're probably asking yourself, all right, what's a congruent, what's an offer, right? What's an offer? Anybody know what an offer is? I'll define it in the next slide, but I'm curious about what you think. What's an offer? Are you getting value so far just out of curiosity? Are you getting value so far from this? Let me know. Because if you understand this philosophy around running ads, the setting up of the ad is, is very simple. It's not terribly difficult or techy, um, but you just have to understand the philosophy so you don't, when you do set up ads, you don't waste money, All right? That's the biggest thing people do is that, because the mistake people make is they, they go straight to the ads, um, to the ads manager and they set up an ad not, not having a strategy, right? So offer, yes, a valuable piece of content, a PDF or ebook or phone content, console, exactly, Amelia. Something you want, something to buy, always great value. Thank you, Colleen, or engaging, absolutely. Right, so promoting congruent offers is basically, you know, a lead magnet or free offer you're going to use to generate leads and or a product or service you're offering. So you have to decide, right, before you start running ads, before you start putting money into Facebook, okay, what am I going to promote? What is my lead magnet and what product or service am I selling? What am I selling, right? Because your goal is to get them from free to something for purchase or getting them from some valuable content to a phone console where you're going to sell them something, your audience something, right? Or getting them from some, some valuable content, some, um, some engaging content to a product for sale, right? And so you would then promote your offer through a conversions ad, a lead generation ad, or a messages ad, right? So decide, what is my lead magnet? What am I offering for free? What am I giving away that's gonna deliver value, to, valuable, va deliver value to my audience on top of what I'm sharing on my page that's gonna get them off of Facebook or get me their contact information so I can communicate with them one-on-one, -on -one, right? What am I offering as a lead magnet? Or what am I going to sell? Right. What is what am I selling to my audience? 
And when you promote your offer, you're just using a lead generation ad, a conversions ad, or a messages ad. And this is the final week, week four, right? Budget, five bucks a day, right? So week four is you, whatever valuable content that you um, created and ran an ad to in week three, that whatever that call to action was for a free PDF, um, a doggy bag, um, a free coaching session, whatever that call to action was, now you're running an ad that's promoting that offer to your fan base, to your audience, right? You're promoting that, that doggy bag, you're promoting that lead mag, you're promoting that coaching session to your fans. And here are some examples of lead magnets. This is um, a free Instagram training. Um, let's say I did a, a Facebook Live video um, where I'm talking about using Instagram. And I said, oh, I got a free Instagram training. You want to check it out? You know, click the link below or comment. Now I'm going to create an ad that's going to deliver this lead magnet as a, an offer to my audience. Here's another one. Um, a free course, 15 year successful MLM vet turns to the internet and recruits six reps with a $5 per day Facebook ad campaign. Now I'm taking this, this offer as a lead magnet and pushing it to my audience in the form of a lead, lead generation ad, a conversions ad, or messages ad. Here's one that was done for um, Dogs Make My Heart Happy. She's basically promoting a, a dog carrier. Right. So people that engaged with her content, her posts are now potential customers and prospects for some dog products. Right. So now I'm going to share this video, this video of this this dog carrier to that audience. Here's one for real estate. Right. So um, basically, this is a, a lead generation ad. Um, for people who are looking for properties, and I'm saying, hey, looking for your next apartment, look no further. Here's uh, the Jefferson Stonebriar Frisco, right? Sky Lounge, so talking about the benefits of of the um, the property, right? They've got a, a swim up bar, a pool to, sw to swim up bar, a Sky Lounge, a business center, see the art, fitness, and yoga studio, and much more, right? Pretty cool stuff. I wish I lived there. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, another one here. This is when I started today, actually, um, about Facebook ads. Um, this leads to another offer. Um, three steps, simple for me to create Facebook engagement ads for leads, sales, and enrollments for your business. Here's the offer. And that's it. Are you guys getting value? Having fun here? Now we're going to dive into the three elements of a Facebook ad been going for a while here. I hope you guys are still up and about. I know it's getting a little bit late. Cool, cool with me. Awesome, awesome. Awesome value. Yes, cool, cool. All right. So now the three elements of a Facebook ad. Now, we've we've created a raving fan base, right? By running a likes ad or a, an engagement ad um, and invited those folks to our page. We know who our audience is, right? Step two, we've... Um, you know, deliver valuable content to our audience and deliver valuable content consistently to our audience on our page. Step three is running a conversions ad that's going to bring people to an offer. We're promoting an offer here. When it comes to promoting the offer now, you have to craft an ad that hits on these three key elements, right? The likes ad is very simple. It's just an image um, with some text giving the benefit of why they should connect with you. The the um, the, the, um, the promoting of content and valuable content to your audience is just you promoting value, right? A Facebook Live video status update, no really copy necessary involved in that. Just delivering valuable content, right? Now is here we we have to implore and use the Facebook these elements of the of copy, and so with these convers these uh, conversions ads, lead generation ads, and messages ads, you have you must apply these three elements if you wanna be successful. The first element is the image. The image, the image is key. The image you have to, this image has, to, the goal simply is to stop the scroll. You had me at first scroll from Jerry Maguire. You had me at hello, right? Um, you have to stop the scroll. People are just scrolling through their news feed, their, their mobile devices and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And you have to stop them in their scroll. 
The way you do that is having images that stop them. Images with attractive people, especially women, even you. Uh, animals work very well. Pets work very well. Um, you want to have images that evoke some kind of emotion, some evokes the emotion you want your prospect to feel, but kind of stops them in the tracks and say, oh, what's this about? Let me check that out. Graphics with less copy perform much better. So just a static, an image of yourself or something that looks real um, is very, very powerful. And the key with the image is not to, to sell your product in the image. The goal of the image is simply to stop people from scrolling. So you want to startle them, right? Something funky, something cool, something um, you know crazy that gets them to stop. Then the second piece is your copy. Um, whatever you're going to say in the copy of the ad, which is the, the right above the image, um, has to be relevant and engagement. And I typically start with a question to get an implied yes that speaks to the, my audience's you know pain, struggles, or dreams, desires, right? Something that's going to hit them. So in this one, it says, would it change your network marketing business if you were able to grow it without bothering your friends and family? Yes, I would like that. I would like to not bother my friends and family about my network marketing business. Let me read some more. All right. So start that that initial, uh, that first sentence with a question that gets an implied yes or a statement that gets them shaking their head. Secondly, build rapport with a connecting statement followed by what you discovered. Right. So I just said that, you know, ask the question, would you um, prefer not to would change your business if you didn't have to talk to your friends and family? Yes, I would. I would say I was there, too. You know, I, too, was traveling from, you know, meeting to meeting, dragging my friends and family only to get home. And they say, no, it's a scam, not interested. Right. So I'm making a connecting statement to to that first question and developing that rapport with the person I'm trying to reach in my ad. And then I share what I discovered. Right. What I what did I discovered that allowed me to make a difference in the switch in what I was doing and using words like today, this week, specific dates, builds and creates some urgency in your prospect and in the message here. And then you say you then you tell them what you're going to give them. Right. So if you're giving them a lead magnet, if you're giving them a PDF, if you're giving them a free coaching session, whatever it is, tell them what you're giving them and also talk about the benefit of what you're giving them. Right. So if you're inviting them to. Um, have a, a 30 minute strategy session with you, right? What's the benefit of that strategy session to them? What are they, what are they getting out of that? Right? If you're giving them a lead magnet, that's going to teach them, you know, how to, how to shed, you know, 30 pounds in the next 30 days. Well, tell them what that's going to feel, look like for them. Tell them about what that is going to do for them, right? In terms of their dreams and desires, what pain is it going to alleviate for them? Okay. And the last element is a clear and strong call to action and give them only one call to action, right? If you don't tell them what to do, they're not going to do anything. So tell them what to do next. Click the button, comment below, message me, um, I don't know, whatever the call to action is. Click the button, comment below, message me, call me, um, share this with your friends. Give them something to do or tell them what to do, because if you do not tell them what to do, they will do absolutely nothing. Although I will say um, if you do have the call to action button where it says on the ad, learn more, most people nowadays know what to do. But if you're using an ad with if you're creating an ad without a call to action button, you definitely want to be very clear about what they should do next um, inside of your copy. All right. And so here's the three step. If you didn't catch it, um, here is the three uh, step Facebook ad strategy, right? 30 days, roughly 30 days, right? Um, so week one, build your fan base. Facebook likes ad or engagement ad, $5 a day. Week two, still building your fan base. Facebook likes ad or engagement ad, $5 a day. Week three, create picking a piece of content that you're gonna to promote to your audience. Facebook engagement ad, traffic ad, or video views ad. Again, five bucks a day. Week four, promoting congruent offers. And I want you to say offer, right? One offer to your audience. Conversions ad, 
lead generation ad or messenger ad, $5 a day budget. Throughout these four weeks though, you're still delivering valuable content to your audience. You're just not running any ads to it, okay? So building your audience week one and two, week three, delivering valuable content, week four, promote congruent offers. And so you can do this, imagine, imagine for a second that you did this um, for one month and uh, you start with five bucks a day and you, you gradually, you know, increased your budget as you started making sales, right? So instead of five bucks, you know, maybe you, you alter it a bit where you're building your audience, you know, every week now, right? That's the goal, right? Having a consistent ad running to grow your audience. So now you're running, you know, the Facebook likes ad or the engagement ad every week for five bucks a week. And now you shift your your audience a little bit um, to yeah your audience, but your ad spend to 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 run ads for offers, uh, not offers, but content, right? So now maybe you're spending five bucks a day um, just on likes ads. So you're spending a buck fifty, right, for thirty days on your um, growing your audience, and that consistent, right? And then maybe you say, okay, maybe one week I'm doing you know, all, all content, right? Or two weeks, all content. And now the next week you're retargeting your audience or running the conversions at the congruent offer to your audience. So you can do some multiple different things with um, this strategy here, but this is the framework. You always wanna be growing your audience. You always wanna have like some kind of content ad going and then retargeting people um, with, uh, with an offer. I'm gonna get to questions in just a moment. Um, and so have you gotten value so far? I'll get to your question in a million and Laura in just a second, okay? Have you gotten value so far? Let me know if you guys got value. Got a few more slides here, then we'll uh, get to Q&A real quick. Seeing yes, yes, tons, absolutely valuable. Awesome, awesome. So before we get to Q&A, um, you know, you may be wondering, you know, how you can use what I shared today, tonight, to uh, get results. And how many of you love the idea of using a simple three-step strategy to generate endless leads, sales, enrollments, clients, and customers uh, for your business? Amazing, very clear, tons of value, awesome, awesome. How many of you think it's a really cool way to just spending five bucks a day, like you can literally transform your business in the next three days? Amazing, incredible, yes, yes, cool, cool. All right, so you might be wondering how you can get some extra help from me. Um, I am now launching a Facebook ads monthly group coaching program. It's monthly intense hands-on, intimate group mastermind training. Dun, dun, dun. So this program is specifically designed to help you earn more while working less, sponsor more reps, close more sales, make more money all in the next 30 days. And so if you want to leverage your time, you can communicate with your best prospects who will buy your product and join you in your opportunity so you can focus on what you love doing all in the next 30 days. This is specifically for you. And here's what's included. So you're gonna get a getting started worksheet that is a detailed, que detailed questionnaire uh, designed to, to get you examining your business and prep you for the upcoming group trainings. That's a $47 value. Um, two monthly group coaching sessions, two to three hours. Um, that's an $800 value. We'll unleash this, the power of the mastermind and fine tune your business through a collective effort um, that has an $800 value. Um, what it includes also is two 30-minute one-on-one coaching calls. Um, speak with me live one-on-one -on -one so you can get all your questions answered and I can help make sure you stay on track. That's a $400 uh, value. Uh, you also get lifetime access to my Facebook Messenger marketing course. This is all about um, learning everything you need to know to create a successful, Facebook Messenger marketing, Manny Chat campaign. 
that generates leads and sales. That sells on my website right now for uh, $2.97. Um, you also get lifetime access to all group sessions and recordings. That's also a $2.97 value for everybody the opportunity to go back and review these business changing sessions. Um, and then 25 plus leads a month guarantee. So I'm gonna guarantee that you get at least 25 plus leads a month uh, in your business. Um, get results, follow my leading. I guarantee you'll get or add 25 leads per month to your results. So here's a breakdown of what's included. It's sort of worksheet, $47 value, two, two monthly group coaching, coaching sessions, $800 value, two 30 minute coaching sessions, $400 value, Facebook Messenger Marketing Course, $297 value. Again, that's on my website for $297 right now. Lifetime access to all recordings, $297 value, 25 plus leads a month guaranteed. That's priceless. Um, total value, $1,841. Would it be worth $1,841 if you were generating an extra 25 laser target leads per month for good? Would it be worth $1,812 if it condensed a minimum of six months of time, energy, and frustration. Would it be worth it if you were able to literally never run out of people to talk to in your business? Saying yes, yes, what? Yes, incredible, amazing, cool, super love it, awesome, great. Here's a breakdown again. Getting started worksheet, two monthly group coaching sessions, two 30-minute coaching sessions, five Facebook Messenger marketing course, lifetime access to all the recordings, 25 leads a month guarantee, total value $1,841. It's not gonna cost you $1,841. In fact, it's more affordable than you think. Just 12 payments of $149 billed monthly, or you can pay in full just $1,499. You save $289. To apply and get a bonus coaching call, again, this is on um, uh, first come, first qualified. Um, I'm only doing this with 10 people just because my time is limited. So the first, uh, only 10 people, first come, first qualified, but the first four who jump on board um, and apply and are qualified will get a bonus coaching call from me, which is a $200 value, right? My coaching calls are around uh, that. So $200 uh, in value for the coaching call. To apply, just email me at antonioantoniorthompson.com. In the subject line, just say group coaching, your name, your phone number, and when you're first available to speak so I can make sure it's a fit for, for me and also a fit for you. Um, so if you want to leverage your time, generate endless leads and people to talk to who will buy your product and join you in your opportunity, focus on doing what you love all in the next 30 days, apply now for the Facebook ads group coaching. Um, before we get to Q&A, just wanna say thank you, let you know how much I appreciate you for being on this evening. I know your time is precious and I don't take it lightly that you made the choice to spend your time with me. Now that you've been through this training with me, you know Facebook ads is the fastest way to generate endless, and, endless leads and sales and grow your business. And you know this is a ridiculous value. Take advantage of this incredible discount claim all the bonuses and let's get started on our journey together. And at this point, I'll open up for a Q&A. Again, here is the total value of everything you're gonna get. Again, first come, first qualified. Uh, go email me at antonio, antoniointhompson.com with the subject line of coaching with your name and phone. And when you're first available to speak, I can speak tonight. So if, you, if you're one of the, if you're, you're, um, you're on it, and uh, you want to chat tonight, I'm definitely available. But let me go back to some questions here. I saw some really good questions that I didn't get to um, on Facebook Live and on uh, the webinar platform. So Melissa asks, so when I target an audience, I keep it as narrow as possible, no broad audience. Um, it really depends Melissa, on the type of ad you're running. That's a very um, not straight answer, but it depends. We can talk more about that if you have more questions uh, specific to your particular business, but it depends. Amelia asks, uh, curious, can you share what dogs make me happiest call to action is or the lead man? I'm in the community, but may have joined early 
and not follow the process. Okay, so dogs make my my heart happy. Their call to action is simply products. So what they're doing is they're creating this fun, engaging environment, and they share. She has, she runs an e-commerce store, and she promotes dog products. One of the things she promotes is dog products. So she she's running an ad that sells that dog carrier that I showed you earlier. Yeah. Lori asked, do you run the same Facebook like ad for two weeks straight or do you change it up? I actually keep the same Facebook likes ad running consistently unless it's um, it's not doing well. If the costs are to go up, I may shift it around. But if I'm getting 40 cent likes, I keep it running until it, you know, it dies. Um, let's see. Any other questions? What is a good number to have your audience size before you start focusing on boosting posts to the fan page likes? What is a good number to have your audience? Um, I would say Vanilla, at least a hundred. Right, at least a hundred people on your fan page before you start running a um a, a boost post or kind of engaging running content to your audience. Um, I think in 14 days. You know, if you're spending five bucks a day, depending on your audience, you'll get five to 10 likes a day. So in 14 days, you'll have 140 likes, ideally. So you should be good there, but about 100. Awesome, awesome. So a likes, so on a like set, how does those likes become your leads? Okay, so Scott's asking, how does a like become your lead? So. When you build your, so you're building your audience up of people who, who like your page, right? And so you're gonna run your conversion ads that are to generate leads to your fans, your likes, right? So if I built an audience up of a thousand people, um, and I know that a thousand people are all interested in, you know, um, organic peanut butter, and I've been sharing valuable content about, you know you know, organic peanut butter dishes or desserts with organic peanut butter. And now I'm promoting, you know, organic peanut butter recipe book, right? I'm running that ad to my fans who like my page. So those will generate lead. Those will be leads from my page. People who raise their hand and say, hey, I want to learn more about some, some organic peanut butter recipes. Hope that makes sense, Scott. Um, so make sure your fan has the uh, has that content then. Yeah, so you make sure your fan page has that content. Yeah, so you want to be so as you're growing your audience, right? If I go back, if you go back to the slide where I share the different weeks, so week one and two is growing your fan page, right? With a Facebook um, likes at our engagement ad. But during that time, you're delivering valuable content to your audience. You know, that can be blog posts, articles that you find online, inspirational images, um, uh, Facebook Live videos, videos. And then you would run an engagement ad to um, engagement ad, but a, a conversions ad that generates leads to um, to your um, to your fan base. Cool. I see Erica just sent me an email. Awesome, awesome. I will connect with you, and we will chat. Does that make sense, Scott? Cool, cool. Uh, any any other questions? Oh, do I change my audience target per post? 
since I do art, my product interest changes. Do I change my audience target per post since I do art? My product interest changes. Um, I would, yeah, it's a little bit uh, tricky there. Um, what I would do, Melissa, is first think about um, who do I want to build, who do I want as part of my audience? Right. So if you if you know that your product is, I don't know, give me an example of something you got to be um, promoting in terms of your art. Let's say it's, I don't know, um, give, give me an example of, of a product interest that that you would possibly have a different target for. You can hear my dog running around now. She says, the webinar is over, now I can run around. <laughs> um, angels, okay, who will be your audience for angels? Who do you think, angels and animals, okay, who will be your target audience if you were promoting, if you are doing art um, for uh, angels and animals? Yeah, maybe. Um, <clears throat> so what you could do is you would just, with your particular business, I would probably uh, switch up the the likes ad every now and again then, right? Because if for, if let's say, let's say you were talking about, let's say animals, right? And your art was about animals. So maybe you want to target people who are art lovers, but also pet owners, right? That's one audience you would target with your likes added maybe for this month. Then next month, maybe you target, okay, I'm gonna tar target art lovers who are also religious. And now you're promoting you know, religious art, right? So you just shift up your, shift up your, your, your likes ad, but still run your, your art content ad and your conversions ad to your fans. Cause you never know people who, you know, not so they bring your page, they like your work and they may not be religious, but they like your work. So that's what you can do there. That's fine. You can just, you know, shift up your, um, your likes ad, or if you know that you're going to be running, um, you're going to have artwork that hits these different areas, then you target in your likes ad, you know, people who, who like art, your specific type of art, and they also are pet owners, they're religious, they're animal lovers, et cetera. I've promoted posts before and I've clicked on eight and interesting and gained over 110 people. Is that too broad? Um, I've clicked on eight, 10 interest and gain. I don't think that's too broad. You just wanna make sure that it's, it's relevant to who you wanna reach, right? So if you threw in religion, uh, animal lovers, pet owners, and other different interests, and included, they actually have a history or an interest in art um, that may produce a larger audience. Um, again, I think with the um, with certain ad, you definitely want to if you're running an ad to grow your audience, and this is very uh, key to, for everyone to to take note of. Um, you want to have an audience of a little bit, uh, about half a million people minimum, just because Facebook has more data to work with. So I would start with, unless you're in a very niche market audience that you're trying to reach, like if I want to pe reach people who, who, um, who love uh, model airplanes or something like that, that might be very niche and not have a very large audience. And that's okay, but I, typically I wanna look for an audience that's about 500 to uh, 1.4 million if possible, 500,000. Um, yeah, so if you, um, if you want to apply for the uh, Facebook ads group coaching program, um, 
go ahead and shoot me an email. Uh, we can have a conversation about um, your business, your goals, and see if it's a fit. Um, I'm not seeing any more questions coming in. Absolutely, Melissa, no problem. Uh, I think... Uh, okay. Yeah, no questions coming in. So last call for questions, definitely uh, come out. If not, um, go ahead and shoot me an email. If this is a fit for you, something you want to have a conversation about, the Facebook Ads Group Coaching Program, uh, we can have a conversation um, and see if it's a fit and uh, go from there. But I appreciate you all for being on this evening. Um, I truly value, value your time and um, hope this was valuable and helpful. Will the slides be available for download? Um, I could make them available for download. If you send me, would, would the slides be, would you want the slides? If everybody, if I get a decent number of people saying, yes, we'd want the slides, I'll do it. I don't mind giving the slides away. Um, yeah, so, Deontay, just uh, message me or email me, and I'll shoot you the slides. Um, if anybody else wants them, just let me know. I'll shoot them to you. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll put them in a PDF, and you can uh, take a look at them. Uh, I'll also have the maybe the replay. I'll send that out as well, um, so you can have that. So I'll do both. I'll uh, send you guys the slides and then send out the replay to you all. And then, um, yeah, I'll do that tomorrow, okay? Cool, so I'll send it out to everybody who attended tonight and you'll get the slides and the replay. Everybody else who didn't attend won't get the slides and the replay. <laughs> all right, that's what we'll do. Cool beans. So have an awesome and amazing uh Thursday, Melissa took, took pictures of it all. <laughs> okay, you get slides too. Um, cool, awesome. All right, so I'll get that out to you guys tomorrow morning. Uh, if you have any questions about the group coaching, definitely reach out to me. Um, I'll be in touch with those who did send me an email um, and touch base, and uh, we'll go from there. And I'll see you all uh, on the next training on Facebook, online, um, and have a great rest of your evening. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.